keeping your personal information safe from illegal skimmers. We're seeing more and more of them, but do you know what to look for? Walpole police are the latest to report the devices in their town. They've been found on ATMs and attached to gas pumps, stealing your credit card information. Beth Germano shows us how to protect yourself. You literally can take two seconds, put this on, and walk away. It's press and go. This fake credit card cover with double-sided tape pressed over the credit card reader of an ATM. A tiny pinhole in this mounted camera watches as you punch in your password, your personal information recorded and compromised. I am concerned because, you know, we work hard for our money. We don't want to use an ATM and then find out that someone's been able to steal our money. Consumers like Susan Masters admit it's usually a quick transaction with little notice of the machines. These these devices were recovered from a Walpole Cumberland Farms ATM after a similar incident in Attleboro. And police believe this man and woman may have been behind what's known as a case of skimming and not just ATMs. So this strip actually here plugs into the back of their reader device. Right here you can see a small little uh, like a diode that's connected to this for either a light or a pinhole camera. This type of strip was quickly installed behind the credit card reader at two gas pumps in West and several other local communities to illegally obtain and record PIN numbers. I mean, you, you're asking me, what am I looking for? I mean, I don't even know what to look for. Police say the crime is prevalent enough in the area that consumers should be on the lookout, in particular for any loose-fitting credit card cover that seems out of place. This piece itself, the card reader, protrudes a little bit further than a normal device would. Um, normally they're built into the machine. Police believe there's connections to these cases, and since it's quick and easy, they expect skimming will only increase. In Walpole, Beth Germano, WBZ News.